Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about a medium level problem from lead code. The problem name is beautiful arrangement. So the problem statement goes like this that suppose you have n integers labeled from 1 to n. A permutation of those n integers per m from one index is considered a beautiful arrangement if for every i 1 till n either of the following conditions is true. So in simple terms, you are given a number n which is considered that you have integers from 1 till n. So let's say if it is 5, so you have integers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you have to make a permutation out of it. Permutation means that you can reorder these numbers to form a beautiful arrangement. Now our arrangement is called beautiful for these numbers. If you make a permutation and the permutation is such that at every i, either this permutation is divisible by the ith value on like the ith index or i is divisible by perms of i. So uh, let's take uh, this example or let's say take an example of 4. I can actually show you some example of 4. So let's say I have numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. That is a beautiful arrangement. Why? Because this permutation, this is also a permutation. So a permutation is called beautiful if all the ith numbers, all the numbers, if they have the index from 1 till n. So that this is the first index, second index, third index and fourth index. Okay. Now, either this number is devising, dividing this number or this number is dividing this number. Like anything is possible. But for every portion, this condition should hold true. That either this number should divide this number or this number should divide this number. So this is the one thing because see, every number here is dividing this above number. So this is a good permutation. The other thing can be, I can put like this one, four, three, two. Because this number dividing this number, this is this, this is this, and this is dividing this. Okay, so that is how like you can make beautiful, you can say per permutations and find out among, among all the beautiful arrangements among all of them. Now the overall idea is that you have to find out the total number of beautiful, beautiful arrangements and the constraints are pretty much small only. It's up to 15. So if the constraints are pretty much small and you have to do it for all the arrangements, whenever I see very small constraints, uh, a thing which comes to my mind is you can use backtracking or recursion in this problems. So backtracking or recursion. Now these topics are the ones which are using very brute force rate to calculate the answer because it's very small. The brute force rate means that you have to find out all the possible arrangements and check among all of those arrangements what are the arrangements which are beautiful in nature and just take, keep the count of it. So that's you're gonna do use here as well. So how are we gonna use? Let's take some example of that. So what we're gonna do here is that for every position, let's say we have a four uh number from 1 till n which is n equal to 4 so we have to make a permutation of 4 numbers from 1 till 4. Now I have to arrange them inside this array. So I have 4 options for every position. So every position like uh, for every, not every position like first position I have 4 options and 3 options and so on. So what I can do is that I can make a vector an array of all ones which will store us and help me know that okay how many numbers I have already used and how much I have to use till now. What I mean by this is, let's say I make a vector defining that this is the one, this is two, this is three, and this is two. And one means that we have still not used them. Now for every number, I will try to put a number and check that whether this number is feasible here or not. So let's say I will first try to put one here. So I can put one here if this is either dividing this index or this is this index is dividing this. So one is able to divide this, so I can put one here. If I can put one here, then because I put one, I cannot use one here, so I will make this zero. Which means that I have made one. Now I have other three options that is two, three and four for all the other positions. So now I will do a recursion on top of it. That is now I have this state. So this is the state. What is the index I, I am on? I want to fill. So now I want, I want to fill the next position. That is this position. So the index I want to fill and what all are the rest of the numbers I can fill at this position. So now I have two, three and four. So can I, can I fill two here? Can I fill three here? Can I fill four here? I cannot fill three here. I can fill two here because two is dividing with the index here as well. So I can put one here and then two here. And then if I put two here, then I will make this zero again that I've used two. Then the next state is that I have three and four and I will again recursively call this again for the rest of the state. And I will keep on doing this. If I fill all these numbers, 
and able to form a permutation out of it then the answer is that i have found out one of the valid permutations using this conditions and i will increment the count in the end i will just print now there is one more small catch which we can also use we can use memoization on top of it because whenever we are using recursion recursion has different states states means that what is the current position i am on the current state i am on so the current states in recursion if it is reoccurring then we can memoize it and use some sort of a dynamic programming to reuse that certain conditions now what is the state and how we can define our state here what you can see here is that every point the state is that what index i am on and what is the number of values i have still i can use so how i can reuse it first we have to check that whether the same condition can occur what you can see here is let's just remove this out let's take an example that we have four positions can i fill two at the very first position yes i can fill two at the very first position can i fill four at the next position yes so this is another state and let's say i am on this state now so i have used two and four so i have one and three which is left you have to fill here okay this is one of the states let's say we are doing some recursion and we have reached this state that i have already placed two and four here and my pointer is here and we have now left with one and three the other state can be let's say i have filled four at the first position which is able like because the first index is one so one is able to divide two and two is able to divide four so that is a valid state till now and we have got to this the other valid state can be that i have reached till four i have placed four at the very first position and two at the next position and voila you can see that i have reached the same state why because now in this state i am again at the third position and the numbers i have to fill is one and three that is how i can reuse this same state to calculate out what is the number of permutations for this state like because see this is the this is the same state i am on the third position and i have to fill both the numbers after this with this numbers so i hope you get the point that is why the sta same state come i can reuse them that is why we can use uh, memoization on top of it as well and we can store the state so the state is the numbers which are left and the index i am on so we can store that and if we have already land on, on the same state again i can reuse that same information of how many ways are there to fill the rest of the position so that we can get a clear idea that's the whole idea that we're going to use in this particular problem let's move on to the code part now if you still have any doubts you can mention on the con box or this particular video i will be happy to mention it. what you have seen is that what we have done is that this is the count account arrangement function that has been called the starter function we have to first make a state of what all numbers we have not used or what are numbers we have to use so the numbers are from 1 till n so 1 till n means that i have to create a vector s okay and it is from 1 till n so i have to create from 1 till n and because it is from 0th index and i want to make it one index so i have created one n plus one so that i have all the numbers from 1 till n okay like this and i have initialized all of them with one so that i means that i have not used any one then i have created a map that will store out the states the state is that whether i have used a particular uh, state and if i i can reuse that value so the state value compromise of the index i am on and the uh, the vector like the the numbers i have to still use so this is the so we have to mention a pair so it has to be pair of the index i am on and this is a vector so the vector so this is a pair this actually defines out the state so the state is compromising of the index i am on and the state the state of numbers i have to still use and that defines a state and if i have used the state how much combination permutation i have to do on the state i will store in the map so that is the map that will be used here and uh, then what we'll do is that we can use this value and then we can call this recursion function with these values so this is one one means that what is the index i'm starting at which i want to fill currently n is the value how many index i want to fill s is the state of the values i have used till now and map is the recursive value like the storing or the memoization the memo table now let's call in the recursive function the recursive function is very simple we have to recur like the break condition the recursive condition and the return statement. so the break condition is that if i have filled all the values and form a valid permutation arrangement so i will return the answer is one that i have got one answer so if i'm able to form one of the possible permutation with which i have filled all the values so if the index i'm filling is greater than equal to n greater than n which i have 
in that i have filled all the values in the array i am forming so because this index is moving from left to right that i have filled one value filled one value so if it goes out of bound which means that i filled all the values so in the end i should return one that is the precondition now the other condition is that memoization condition now that if i have seen the same state the same state is s the same state is s how many numbers i have still uh, in the value i have to still use and the index i am on if it is still not zero the count of is still not zero which means that i have already seen it i can return that value now the thing is now i have to find out for the current state i am on for how many permutations i can form so i will do a for loop on top of it and for a particular number like whatever state i am on i want to fill it with all the possible values i have the possible values i have from 1 till n i will iterate over all the values from 1 till n for a particular index i index i am on so i am on this particular index uh this index okay so i will check that whether for this particular index what all values i can fill so i will iterate over, over all the values from 1 till n and check that whether that value exists i have still not used it if, it, if i have not still used it that is not equal to zero if i have used it i will mark it as zero if it is still not used it is still one so if it is still one which means which means i can use it so if it is still available and either both of the conditions like either of the condition is true the i is div dividing uh the ith value the ith index is dividing the current value i want to put or the value is dividing the index if any one of this is true which means that that particular number can be placed at that particular index so i will place that number at the index so which means that i have used it so if i have used it i have to remove it from the count array that i have been used to store out the frequency of numbers i have already used to make the particular permutation i have been forming as a beautiful arrangement and then increment the current count i have placed that number so i will move down to the next state the next state is index is increased by one and because index increased by one and i have made this zero so the number has been removed from the array and then index increased by one and check out for the new recursive state so this, that is how the recursive will be version this one and because I want, I want to backtrack to the original state so that we can check for other results as well. After coming out of this recursive loop, I want to again add that back because which means that I have taken it, I have taken that particular permutation and check it for all the other permutations for the particular states and then backtrack it to the same state so that we can check it for other states as well. So that's a very simple backtracking with emulation on top of it so this is the for loop checking for all the values which are which are not already used which can be placed at this particular point and then doing recursion on top of it in the end when we find out for all the values uh what all possible permutations we can do for a particular index i so then we have a particular value so which we can store for a particular state and a particular index what is the number of permutations we can form so in the end we can store that store that particular emulation in the answer so that we can reuse it and return the answer that in the end we will use this whole technique to find the answer for the state i want that's a complete logical code part for this particular problem if you still have any doubts you can mention on in the comment box of this particular video i will see you in the next video. and bye